Yay! Okay, sweet. Hi, my name is Sydney Lang, and this is my presentation on emotional intelligence, how we feel, and how others feel. Okay, so for my final teaching of WRE, the population I selected was the classroom environment because I am an inclusive elementary education major and I'm going to be in the classroom teaching. Um, and then the topic I selected was emotional intelligence. And for the activity, we're going to identify emotions within my classroom. And then the goal, my goal for this whole lesson would be to give my students the tools and ability to de define and identify how they're feeling as well as how others are feeling. So that's one big thing I'd hope they get out of this. So first I start my presentation off um, to my students with what is emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence, intelligence is the ability to understand, use, manage your own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with others, and overcome challenges and diffuse conflict. And then I would kind of just explain this is how we are feeling, how you're feeling, how I identify how others are feeling and how we manage to communicate with one another and then I think I would have a conversation with my class like what do you think it would look like to be an emotionally intelligent person like what would someone do to be emotionally intelligent like for example here would be someone that's emotionally intelligent is if they're a boyfriend or girlfriend and they're in a relationship and the, the boyfriend notices that the girlfriend is upset about something and starts to kind of communicate and figure out that they're upset, that would be my example I would give in class just so that people can have a better understanding because sometimes when words are coming at you, you don't really get what we're saying. So then I broke down emotional intelligence into the different elements so um, that it makes up so for example self-management self-awareness social awareness relationship man relationship management and those definitions to each one for example like self-awareness to recognize your own emotions and how they affect your thoughts and behavior you know your strengths and weaknesses and you have confidence and then self-management control impulsive feelings and behaviors manage your emotions in healthy ways and then i i would continue to go down the list of each definition of what these were and i think after each one i would stop and be like can we class can we figure out an example of what like what would self-management look at? like like what would you do what do you think others would do for each one and see how they would do and what responses they would give back because this is a, a collaborative um i want my presentation to be interactive with my students as well and then how are we feeling throughout the day we go through many different feelings or emotions that can affect us in contrasting ways and then I would ask my class, how are you feeling right now? Are you happy, sad, tired, confused, loving, excited? Like what emotions can you think of? And like, what are you feeling? What are you, what are you feeling? And then what are others feeling? What, what are others feeling? Not only are we going through different emotions during the day, but everyone is. We all feel and experience the world differently, which is a very true statement and i think if one thing my students can take away too from this presentation is that we're all humans living in this world with our feelings going through different things that affect our feelings i would be extremely happy and so then i would ask how can we tell how someone is feeling and my examples i listed were body cue body language or body cues appearance tone of voice facial expressions like how we try to read people and I, and I'd also explain to my class, this is not always an easy task. Sometimes people don't always convey how they're feeling and you kind of have to read them differently. So that's another thing I want to explain. And I include this quote, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible the, by the 14th Dalai Lama. What other emotions are there? Calm, content, delighted, moody, impatient, brave, gloomy. And then here's the activity. Guess that emotion. And I run through each activity, each picture. And this person's happy, sad, tired, upset, mad, happy, confused. And we're all human. 